I'm about to share with you three huge myths of 5D reality, some of which go against everything that you've heard about it. So take a big old gulp of kombucha so that you don't spit it all over the screen when I share these with you because that's how shocking they really are. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. And sometimes I help people expand their consciousness so much that their kombucha comes right out of their mouth and onto their screens. So in this video, that's why there was a warning in the beginning. Make sure that it is safely being ingested into your beautiful crystalline body so that you can take on the energy that I'm about to share with you. Okay, you guys ready? So first off, 3D to 5D reality. Now, first off, what is 5D reality? I know it sounds esoteric. However, just a general overview of it, 5D reality is a level of consciousness that we have the ability to be in right now on the planet. We have been for thousands of years in what is called a 3D level of consciousness. 3D level of consciousness is right behind me. It is duality, separation, attachment to outcome, attachment to things, materialism, autopilot mind, thinking the same thoughts every day, feeling the same emotions every day, doing the same things every single day. And then reactive, very reactive. The news is happening, stuff's happening in the world, and it's very reactive. Uh, linear thinking, and then I wrote the words look. You wanna know why I wrote the words look right here? Because I was trying out this new marker and I typed out LO, and then I was like, okay, LO, okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> look, just look, the eyeballs, look. But 3D reality, uh, is something that has been here for a long period of time and now what we are doing is there is a 3D level of consciousness on the planet and then we're also shifting into what is called 5D level of consciousness. Where the hell 4D go? Okay, where's 4D? We just gonna skip 3 and go to 5? Come on. Is that even possible? They say that 4D is actually like time. Okay, in essence I think that we've actually been in more of a 4D reality. 4D is like things become more vibrational. Uh, things become much more flexible. There's duality and polarity in 3D and 4D. 5D, we begin to move beyond duality and polarity. Now, 5D level of consciousness is where we have more abilities than maybe we have right now. Maybe we have more intuitive abilities, we understand our connection more. 5D is about connection and love. It's very high vibrational, it's very fun, it's very much in the moment, whereas 3D reality is much more about uh, the past and the future, in the, in the future, it's like identified with that. Now, 5D reality is what is emerging right now on the planet. It's why there's so much transformation happening. A lot of the old 3D duality of good, bad, light, dark, all those things are beginning to really come to the surface for us to deal with. Now, when we talk about this, the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to 5D consciousness is the myth that many people believe Okay, hold your kombucha in, just in case. Many people believe that 5D reality is actually a place. If they think that's a myth, it is not a place. 5D consciousness, fifth dimensional consciousness is not a place, it is a state of consciousness. So right now on the planet, what Bashar has talked about, and even in the books by Dolores Cannon, it talks a lot about this. There's like a 3 and 5D Earth split that is happening. Now, it doesn't mean physically that 5D reality is splitting from Earth and, and that there's, there's people going to be left behind and all of this stuff. Grab your, grab your grandma, grab your kids, let's get over to 5D. It's not like that. What is happening is right now on the planet, you've got people in 3D, you've got people in 5D, you've got people in 4D. For some reason in the spiritual community, we like to split up these things and we like to just completely skip 4D. I don't know why. I don't know. I feel bad for 4D. It's probably lonely and it's like no one ever pays it. It's like the, it's like the middle child that no one pays attention to. Okay, and now the middle child, what if the middle child gets angry and is like, I want you to pay attention to me. Now you have no choice. Okay, but remember 3D is like the naughty little kid that's trying to control everything that's like the tyrant. 5D is like the annoying spiritual kid that just loves everything. And then 4D is right in the middle being ignored. Okay, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent so much, but <laughs> I'm gonna get back into the video now. Okay, so the first myth around that of 5D is believing that 5D is a place. It's not a place. Back in 2012, there were a lot of people that were focused on ascending into a completely new 
like real, it's almost like the rapture or something. It's like this thing's going to come and we're going to literally phase out of this reality and wake up as these spiritual spiritual beings in a different reality. We're, we're doing that in this reality. One of the things that happens when we come to earth as spiritual beings is we totally forget who we are. We forget we're eternal spiritual beings. Then we go through this process of identifying with our ego, thinking this is who I am. And what we do is we then go through that that kind of that forgetfulness, and then we go through a process of waking back up to who we really are. Well, one of those things that we forgot is that we're all connected. We're all one consciousness. And part of this 5D, uh, you know, part of that forgetfulness too is in the past, in ancient times, maybe what happened is, like the Mayans and stuff, maybe they did ascend in group conscious, in group, kind of like groups. And they, they ascended into higher levels of consciousness. Maybe that did happen. We're meant to do it here, together collectively. We're taking a little bit of a longer path rather than back in like 2012 when some of us could have ascended into some rapture like thing. No, we're doing this together. So the first myth is that it's a place and that's gonna happen like we're gonna phase here and then phase out, okay? Second part and myth, once again, hold your kombucha in, whatever flavor that may be. Maybe it's original, original's good. Maybe it's the uh, pomegranate one that's really sweet that is 16 grams of sugar per serving. There's two servings in a bottle, by the way. That's a lot of sugar. But hey, your gut is good and uh, your food digests well. So no judgment, no spiritual judgment, okay? I accept you the way you are, okay? Now, when we're talking about 5D, the second part of 5D we need to talk about is some people have this idea that what they're gonna do is they're going to go into 5D and what they want to do is they want to bring everyone in 3D. And what they want to do is they're, first off, they're in fear. They think that this is like the end all be all end of the world. But the other thing they say is uh, a lot of people ask us in the Dolores Cannon book. So Dolores Cannon was a hypnotherapist, um, thousands of transcripts of different people all around the world going into this deep level of hypnosis. Many people said very similar things. Came here to be a part of this transformation on the planet. And uh, there were a lot of people that were talking about this three to five D or split. Some people said, very noble. I want to stay in 3D and help those on the destroying planet. I want to help those that aren't going to make the transition and I want to whatever. And the idea that was, was like, no, you're not going to stay in 3D to help people in 3D and to help the kids or to help the, the dogs and all this, the grandmas and all this stuff. Remember, it's not a fear mentality where one people are going to ascend into the ethers and then everyone else can be left here on this crazy planet with all this control. No, it's all here now. The only way you can really help people in 3D is by being of a high level of consciousness. Is by, is by being that connection, that love and being an anchor of that energy. So the only reason and the only way that you can really help is by being in 5D. You're not going to help by being in 3D. You be in 3D, you are feeding it. You're in duality, you're in separation, you're in fear. Remember, most of what the, the news and the media does is it keeps people in 3D. You're focusing on it in fear. Guess what? It's going to continue to exponentialize that. So the key to this is realizing that secondly, I mean, I mean first off, it's not a place, okay? Secondly, you ain't going to stay in 3D to help. You can only help from 5D. Remember, they both exist here now. Now, the third one, I have to go back to my whiteboard to remember because I can't remember what I wrote down. I'll be right back. Got it. Third has to do with understanding that this shift of 3D into 5D it is not gonna be some momentary thing that then is just permanent. We are gonna, there's this buffer time right now where there is this 3D consciousness, 5D consciousness, 4D consciousness that feels left alone. But these things are here now and we have the ability to go back and forth for a while as the vibrations speed up. And by back and forth, remember, it's not two different Earths. It's not like one's over here, one's over here. It's more so back and forth between this level of consciousness. As time goes on, the vibration will speed up more and more and we'll want to be more in alignment with what we and how we prefer to be. So it's not permanent. Like we're gonna get there and then we're just always blissed out, just feeling amazing, drinking kombucha with everybody else. Maybe it is, 
But from what I understand, we're going back and forth. There are times of my day when I still slip back into 3D. I had some stuff happen uh, about a week ago and I was like, why is this happening? Ah! And I was just like getting it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in 3D right now. This is so 3D. And then what I had to do is I had to like become okay with it and then eventually, guess what happened? I was able to observe it. You observe the duality, the feeling of separation and all of this stuff. And then you could just be in the 5D in love, in joy, in peace, in um, high vibe state, having fun. And remember, life is a form of dream. You are an eternal spiritual being dreaming right now. You are this ego avatar. Enjoy life and have fun. Loosen up. Doesn't, that's not meant to be so serious. They say one of the tricks to enlightenment is to enlighten up on yourself. Then you'll raise your vibration to a completely new level. So this is the key to be, eat in that vibrational state. Now, there is something that I have right now, and it is a 21 day raise your vibration challenge for getting into 5D consciousness, where every single day I send you a step-by-step -step practical video, there's accountability, there's a Facebook group, we're all gonna do this together. If you wanna shift into 5D, you wanna go through this process step-by-step -step practically so that you're able to more easily be in this higher vibrational state, so that you're able to also kind of be that light worker that you came here to be. You came here to anchor that energy. Click the link below or go to aarondowdy.com slash challenge. And we can do that there. Also, there's a 5D meditation that is one of the most powerful meditations I've made. Read the comments to see what's possible for you. I'll link it about here. I'll also link it in the end card right over here. Other than that, subscribe if you haven't already. I got a lot more good videos coming and I can't wait to share them with you. And as always, peace, much love, and namaste.